If you're on a budget, but you're trying to figure out what is the best tool to record your screen on a Windows or a Mac in a way that's easy, efficient, and even has additional features that'll let you edit inside the tool itself, you're gonna love this two minute tutorial because I'm gonna walk you through my favorite tool. It's called Screencast-O-Matic to record your computer screen. Again, whether you're on a Mac or a Windows, let's get into it. What's up, Familia? Welcome to Two Minute Tutorials, the part of the show where we answer your most pressing questions in two minutes or less over a hot, steamy cup of tea. I'm drinking one of my favorites today. It's Egyptian licorice. It's delicious. So let me know what you're drinking in the comments section below and let's get into the tutorial. Welcome to Screencast-O-Matic. Now this is the desktop version and I'm using a Mac, but I love using this in my Windows computer. I actually found this about seven or eight years ago. It's been my tried and true screen recorder and I absolutely love it because it has some amazing features. Now you can use the desktop version or the browser version. It's totally up to you, but I like using the desktop version because it gives me way more functionality. Now to start recording your screen, you wanna click on record and that'll launch the recorder. You can see here that you can change the dimensions, whether you want to record in 1080 or you want to make it smaller, right? Maybe something 720 if you don't need to record the whole screen. You can also custom edit the size like this and just record whatever size you would like, which is super helpful. I'm gonna go back to 1080. And then of course you can select the narration, right? So I wanna make sure that I'm selecting the right microphone, which in this case, it's my H6, but you can have a look here at the list of microphones available. And if you click on there, you can auto adjust your volume, uh, test the recording and play it back to make sure that it sounds good and prep yourself for recording. Now you also have the ability to record your computer audio, which comes really in handy if you're doing things like showing a video or you want to include some more multimedia options in your recording. Next, you wanna select whether or not you wanna show your screen and your webcam or just your webcam. So you can click on webcam to just show your webcam or click on both to have both your webcam, you can see it right over here, as well as your computer screen on the recording. Later on, once you start recording and hit edit, you can select how your webcam recording shows up and whether or not it shows up at all. So let's go ahead and record our screen. I'm gonna go ahead and record the Screencast-O-Matic website just so I can show you what that looks like in a second. And so you can go around and kind of play around with all the different options here. You can do your recording, awesome. One of the things I really love about Screencast-O-Matic is the ability to pause your recording and continue the recording wherever you left off, which is super in handy if you mess up or if you wanna go back and fix something. So I can just pause the recording, I can select where I left off or you can select wherever you would like to restart the recording and then click on the truncate recording, yes, truncate, and now the recording will keep going forward wherever it is that you decided that you wanted to re-record. Now, once you're done with your recording, you can hit stop and then done, and you can select whether you wanna save and upload it. Again, this is a paid version option, which is really inexpensive, but awesome. You can host the video is right on Screencast-O-Matic. You can do a quick share or you can edit the video, which is what we're gonna do right now. So here is a Screencast-O-Matic editor, and it's super awesome because you get to choose from a variety of tools where you can decide, hey, I wanna hide the cursor during this portion of the video. And now you can hit okay, and now you'll see that the cursor will not show up in that part of the video. As soon as you hit that mark, it'll show up again. So that's super awesome. Other tools like the cut tool come really in handy as well. So you can actually drag what part of the recording you wanna delete. Like for example, this one right here where we weren't really saying anything, we can just cut that out. Now, if you want to go back, just hit the command Z option or control Z to undo it. But you can also select a preview so you can see what the video would sound and look like if you didn't have that portion. Again, super handy if you're just editing on the go. 
There's a ton of other tools that you can choose from, from copy to insert new recording or an existing recording or a video clip. You can narrate or select an overlay, replace a portion of the video or freeze a frame, up the speed, lower the speed, add a transition or volume. Now, just like any other tool, there are limitations to what you can do with screencast o matic particularly in the editor, but it's so awesome to create quick and simple recordings that are not super elaborate. I use this budget option recorder for years. I still use it and absolutely love how simple it is to use. And by the way, yes, I'm well aware that we're probably past our two minute mark. I, I need to rename these videos like five minute tutorials because the questions that you guys ask are way more complicated and I love them, but we need a little bit more time. I'm about to wrap up, I promise. Okay, so getting back to Screencast-O-Matic, the last feature I wanna show you is the ability to host the videos for you. And this is a great feature, for example, you're creating internal training that requires you to share this with a team member. So for example, this recording that we just created, I can upload directly to Screencast-O-Matic, um, update the recording title, hit publish, and it'll give me a link to my account that I can share it with someone else. But Screencast-O-Matic is not limited to just publishing or uploading directly from the tool to wherever you want to host it. It can upload to Vimeo, it could upload to Google Docs, Dropbox, you name it. If you're curious about the price point, you can get started with their free editor. It will have a watermark, but I think it's a great place to just kind of get an idea for what the basic tool entails. And then you can take a look at the pricing if you decide to upgrade. The deluxe version is more than enough and it's ridiculously accessible, especially for the price point. If you're curious, definitely check out the feature comparison board that we'll link in the description box below, as well as in the blog post that accompanies this episode. And hey, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Are you editing your own videos or do you have someone on your team who does it for you? Let me know in the comment section below if yes or no. And hey, I can talk about videos and tech all day long, but I want you to watch our other episodes, particularly the one I did on Ecamm Live. If you're into screen recording with more features and you wanna see more advanced strategies, definitely check out that video, which covers how I control my cameras with my stream deck by just clicking one button right here. That'll be linked somewhere here on the screen, as well as our behind the scenes of our YouTube studio tour in case you're curious. I should have mentioned this in the beginning, but this video is not sponsored and we're not affiliates for Screencast-O-Matic, at least not right now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on that next video. Bye for now.